Thanks, guys. Well, Julian, it's great to have you back on the show. My pleasure. Now, for any of you spawnlings out there eager to get your hands into some games development, Julian and I will be taking you through a series of lessons on how to code your very own game. So, Julian, what program are we going to use? Goose, we'll be using Scratch. It's a free, easy-to-use software with which you can make games and cartoons. You don't need to learn fancy code. You make programs by dragging and dropping modules. Firstly, before you begin, head to our website here and either download Scratch or load it up in your browser. Now, how about a quick tour, Julian? Sure. These program blocks control the game characters, which are called sprites. You can change the backgrounds too with scripts. As you can see, the program modules are colour-coded. The light brown objects on the control menu affect time, events, stopping the program and broadcasting. The dark blue motion menu handles rotating, walking and changing the direction. And the light green blocks on the operators panel take over calculations that need to be made. For instance, if your lives reach zero. Now, shall we do a short program first just to warm up a bit? Good idea. To start, go to File and create a new project. By default, it will start with one sprite already selected. Scratch the cat. Let's make him take a step and say, meow. Click on Sprite 1 in the Sprites box, then under the Scripts tab, select Events. And then drag the When Green Flag Clicked block into the Scripts panel on the right. Now click on Motion and drag the first block, move 10 steps, and slot it in below the green flag block. Ah, they snap together automatically. That they do. Now go to Control and drag the block, wait one sec, below Move 10 Steps. That's a little long. Let's click on that and change it to half a second or 0.5. Now let's add a sound. You can import any sounds you like, but we'll use a stock option. Play sound, meow. The first option from the purple sound menu. Finally, we'll send Scratch the Cat back to where he started. Go back to the dark blue motion tab and pop a move 10 steps tab on the bottom. Now add a minus sign in there so that he moves backwards. If your move block doesn't say minus 10, retype it. All the sprites are on an invisible grid and you alter the X and Y values to move them around. There's a counter on the right that shows Scratch the Cat's X and Y coordinates. That's right, Goose. Now click on the green flag to test your program. Ah, it works! Well done, Goose. You've taken your first step. That's awesome! Well, that brings us to the end of part one. Next time, Julian and I will begin work on the Good Game Spawn Point Invaders game. If you'd like to learn along with us, we'll be uploading all the info you need on the Good Game Spawn Point website here. So, until next time, Goose out. Julian out.